Are you ready to say goodbye to the constant ups and downs of the artist income roller coaster? Whether you're a full-time artist who wants to increase and stabilize your income, a part-time musician who wants to go full-time, or a hobbyist who needs to fund your passion projects, this podcast will equip you with the tools, resources, and inspiration to make it happen. My name is Bree Noble. I'm a musician, best-selling author, and educator whose mission is to help musicians like you to increase the income you're already making and tap into new income streams so you can create a more diverse, stable, reliable income from music and finally ditch the starving artist mentality. Now let's dive into The Profitable Musician Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. My name is Bree Noble. I am excited to be here with Jess Robert from lyricvids.com. So we're going to be talking about lyric videos, animated videos, and how they can be really successful for you as an independent artist in helping you promote your music. But before we get into that, I know that Jess has a lot of background working in the music industry. She's worked with some pretty cool big names. So I want to make sure that we uh, get to talk about that as well. So let's just start just with your, your backstory. Like, you know, how did you grow up? How did music relate to your life growing up? And what made you want to get involved in the music industry? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, my name is Jess Robert. And um, I went to school originally to be a special effects makeup artist. So kind of in a completely different, well, I guess not completely different. It's still, you know, art related. I did some makeup for music videos and stuff. Um, but that was kind of my beginnings. And then I found that I didn't really love working on set. They were long days. I was like falling asleep under my makeup table. And it was just like not my style. So I started um, kind of practicing with behind the scenes stuff, shooting, uh, editing and stuff as well. I met my husband, who was a videographer at the time, and he taught me a lot of what I know um, in terms of um, video and editing and stuff. And uh, yeah, we we kind of just saw a hole in the market when we were shooting music videos. Um, we saw that a lot of people were asking, you know, what are these lyric video things that we keep hearing about who makes these lyric videos? And so, um, we went from there and, uh, kind of filled that hole in the market and snowballed from there. <laughs> so, so did you have a music background at all yourself? Not really. No. I mean, I, I play guitar and I have a lot of uh, musician friends and whatnot. Um, but I've always been interested in the more the behind the scenes aspects of creating like visual content for artists and just kind of further expanding on the existing thing, which obviously is the song and kind of just creating more visuals that can kind of go along with that and uh, improve the experience for the fans. I, I love that. I and mean, we need that. I mean, yeah. uh, us as musicians, especially me. Oh my gosh. Like I tell everybody, like all of my artistic, everything went, has gone into music and I don't have an artistic bone in my body as far as design and stuff like that. And yeah. so, yeah, like the people like me, we need people like you big time. For sure. That's awesome. That's what I like to hear. And, you know, and our, with our society today, everything is so focused on video and visuals and, 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 you know, different ways of consuming content and things like that, you know, as far yeah. as music, we can consume it as listeners, but also it's totally different experience and it enhances it being able to consume it on video. Um, so I love that you're offering this to musicians. How did you start the company? Did you just start kind of freelancing for some people and then it like snowballed? Yeah. So we were already working, shooting music videos for a lot of independent artists um, in Toronto. And um, yeah, we just, we just noticed that a lot of people were asking about it. So we started servicing the kind of uh, artists that were already kind of in our social circle, um, making lyric videos for them. And then they would post them and then their friends would ask, oh, who did that for you? Um, so it kind of snowballed in that way in the independent scene. Um, and then we started reaching out to labels to see if this was something that they were in need of. And it turns out they were, they really needed someone in their Rolodex who did these like motion graphic accompaniments for people's songs. Um, so yeah, so then we started working with some labels and we've been doing that ever since. Got it. So is this service more of like a, you know, 
someone hands you a song and then you just go from there? Or do you kind of talk with the artist about what they're thinking, you know, thematically or anything? Do you have any like self-service option where they can like utilize your tools to do it? Or is it more just that you're creating it for them? Um, it's more so that we're creating it for them. Um, artists will come to us with different levels of content already. So some of them, for example, they have no single artwork, they have kind of no visuals at all. And then we just kind of brainstorm with them and figure out what, what their song should look like. Mm. Um, other artists come to us and they already have single artwork that they've already put out. They've maybe even already shot a music video. So we really already know the kind of the branding of that song and what they're going for, for that song. And then we can base the lyric video off of that so that all their marketing has like a really cohesive kind of vibe to it. Um, yeah, so it really goes both ways. Some people know a lot of what they they want to see from us and they'll give us a lot of notes and other people are like, what should I do? And we just kind of help them figure that out. Mm. Now that brings up a question that I have is if like, is a lyric video kind of a substitute for a music video or do you feel like there's a place for both? And you know, how do they differ in how, you know, they serve the song. For sure. I think both options uh, are true in the sense that having a music video doesn't mean that you shouldn't do a lyric video. And then also sometimes it can be a substitute. Uh, obviously music videos are higher budget. Usually if you're getting a whole crew to go out and shoot something, you need location, you need actors, you need all that stuff. Um, a lyric video is a really great alternative if you aren't able to afford that. Mm -hmm. um, also, one thing that we notice a lot in our industry is that sometimes people will pay for a feature on a song that's like a famous person feature. And it would be so expensive to get that famous person to be in your video. But what a lyric video does is it almost gives the vibe that, you know, they're right there with you and like kind of everything's kind of put together and no one really notices that maybe you, you left that part out of the song or you just showed, you know, if it's a music video, it's like, what would you do when that part, when that person's singing, you know, but a lyric video, it kind of just encompasses everything and uh, makes that work. The other side of it is that if they already have a music video, a lyric video is just an additional piece of content that you can use for promoting. So, you know, you can, there's only so many times you can share the music video with your friend, with your fans, or so, so many times that you can share the single artwork or whatever promotional tool you have with your fans. It's just one of those other things to kind of have in your tool belt to be like, here's the song. It's just like another vehicle for showing your fans the song. Right. And, and do you think that there are like different, totally different audiences that are maybe watching lyric videos on YouTube versus listening to the song on Spotify. Or do you find that people are listening to the same song and experiencing it in different modalities over different, you know, platforms and stuff? Yeah, I definitely think uh, people, you know, that will always have like their way that they prefer to listen to a song. I think that lyric videos are really great for the mega fans, like the the fan who just really wants to like absorb everything they can about this song. You know, they want to have it on their playlist, but they also want to see what type of music video they've put out. And then they're like, oh, wow, there's a lyric video, too. I really want to, you know, take in those lyrics while I'm watching kind of the artist branding in a really cool like visually intriguing way. So I think it's really great for the mega fans um, in terms of like them going to YouTube to find it. Um, but the artists often will also post it on their social media. So even if someone's not a mega fan, maybe they just are checking out that artist for the first time, they get to kind of see that little piece of content as well. And they're like, oh, that's what they're saying at that part. I can read those lyrics and kind of see everything that's going on. So yeah, I think it's kind of good for you know, everyone consumes content in a different way, but I think it's good for a variety of different types of fans. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting because myself being a musician and a singer, like I, I think about lyric videos in a totally different way. I think than maybe the average person's like, I, if I look up a lyric video, it's because I want to sing along. Yeah. And I wonder, you know, does the average fan, is that what they're doing with the lyric video or is it, are they just, like you said, just kind of enjoying the experience of watching the lyrics go by with the branding? Uh, that's a great question. I mean, I hope that people are singing along with it. That would be awesome. Um, yeah, I think, I think mostly it's just people kind of going to, yeah, experience everything they can about that song that they like. 
Um, I always say to people who are like lyric vids, eh, is that lyric videos have come a long way since like the simple karaoke video oh, yeah. that are like fan made that you used to see on like YouTube. This is like years, like 10 years ago or more on YouTube, there would be like these really simple, you know, uh, like, yeah, like karaoke style videos. Um, and they've really come a long way since that in the sense that it's not just about, you know, displaying the lyrics. It's also about extending kind of the branding of the artist and of that song so that it kind of everything kind of is cohesive and fits in you know yeah no I, I do think I do think you're right that lyric videos kind of got this like sophomoric reputation <laughs> yeah. you know from the old days right yeah. of what you were talking about and and so you probably have to educate people a little bit like no 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 really like lyric videos they're cool you know yeah have you, for sure have you experienced that a little bit yeah. And fortunately, we have a huge portfolio to to demonstrate that, you know, it's more than just a karaoke video. Um, you know, sometimes there's like photos of the artists in it. Sometimes they even send us footage and it's almost like a hybrid between a music video and a lyric video. You know, sometimes it's a cartoon of the artist and it's animated. So it really can be all over the map. It's not. Uh, yeah, just just lyrics on the screen. Yeah. And I wanted to ask about animations too, because I know that's yeah. something you guys specialize in. Is that like a totally different kind of video or is it you're using animations in the lyric videos? Both. Um, so sometimes we do these like floating head type videos, we call them where, you know, the artist's head is there and, you know, their mouth is singing along to the lyrics and the lyrics are like popping out and it's just kind of cool like that. And, but other times it's a fully animated cartoon where there might not even be any lyrics. There might, it might just be like a cartoon music video almost. So we offer both things and uh, yeah. Wow. This sounds like amazing what you guys are doing, but it also sounds like it's a lot of work and it's, it's expensive. Like, is this really accessible for the the average indie artist to be able to to hire you for this? Yeah, for sure. We offer all types of price points. So we have like our standard videos, we have our plus videos, then our platinum, then our infinity videos. And those are essentially like the different levels going up depending on how much of a budget you have. And also like how crazy you're thinking of going. Some artists do just want it really paired back and they do just want, you know, one background lyrics on the screen, just so it's, you know, very simple and clean. But yeah, we offer all sorts of budget ranges. Um, a lot of our, we work with a lot of big labels, but also still work with a lot of those independent artists on, uh, on their releases as well. So yeah, I'd like to think that we have everything. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's great to hear that. I mean, because obviously people listening to this show, a lot of them are totally DIY. And yeah. I just wanted to make sure that this would be in their price range. But I love yes. that you have so many packages so people can really customize it to what they want. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I'm looking at this information that was sent to me about you. And I've got to ask this question. So it says reaching 250 million YouTube views. That's yes. insane. Is that for your guys' channel? So no, that that's the combined views of any lyric videos we've made for artists. Wow. So okay. We but have that's like our your work is being seen by a lot of people. Yeah, for sure. I always think that like, oh, if that many people were like in a room watching like a premiere of my videos, that would be oh amazing. Gosh. So it's, sometimes it's nice to like smell the roses because, you know, YouTube views, it's just like sometimes it's very like abstract and like, who are these people, you know, but it's it's really cool to think of it as like an audience of real people that are just like watching your art, which is super awesome. Um, yeah, it's just our website actually has some code in it that basically like compiles all the mm -hmm. Uh, lyric videos that um, that we've done on other artists uh, YouTube channels and it basically like tallies all the uh, all the views so yeah we're super super proud about that that is awesome yeah and I always try to think about it the other way too if like I only have 250 views on my video and I'm like sad and I'm like but what if I had 250 people in a room that would be a lot of people exactly you know? yeah totally that's true awesome so yeah you have some pretty cool stuff on your on your bio that I wanted to ask about too. So it looks like you've worked with some seriously iconic women. How did you have the opportunity to work with these iconic women and, and let us know who a few of them are? Yeah, for sure. I mean, my favorite is probably 
Uh, Alicia Keys was a really big one. We worked on a Christmas track of hers last year. Um, Stevie Nicks, obviously a very big one as well. Stevie Nicks was very cool because often we just work with the, um, the artist management via email and stuff. So we don't actually get to talk to the artists, but Stevie Nicks specifically had some like feedback that she wanted to get to us. So we actually got to like email with her rather than just her manager, which was very cool. Um, as far as how we got to work with them, it's honestly just the label connections that we've had. They just, they reach out and they say, oh, you know, Stevie's looking for a lyric video to accompany her new song she's releasing. And are you guys interested? And then usually what we do at that point is we, um, we pitch kind of like a, an idea, either a treatment or maybe even a short sample of the song of kind of what we're thinking again, depending on whether they're basing that on existing visuals, like single artwork or whatever, or maybe we're just making it up completely from scratch. So we pitch them on that, get some of their feedback. And then, yeah, if they like, you know, the vibe we're putting out, then we get to work with them, which is so awesome. Amazing. Uh, do you know, Emily King, we've also worked with Emily King recently, and she's one of my favorite artists. So that was very cool. And yeah, we work with so many awesome women. Yeah, I'm not familiar with her, but I've seen you worked with Olivia Newton John. When yes, was that? that was a cartoon, actually. Yeah, oh. it was uh, Olivia Newton John uh, featuring uh, Paul Anka. And oh. it was kind of like a Hanna Barbera kind of inspired like cartoon of them hanging out around New York City. It was a really fun project. That's that's really cool. Yeah. And Diane Warren. So was it, was it that she came to you with a song that she had written for another artist or? Yeah. So I think with Diane Warren, she had put out an album uh, full of songs that she had written, but that other artists were performing. So I think it was Diane Warren and g e z and somebody else I'm not recalling right now, but um, yeah, they contacted us to do that for her. And it kind of was a piece of the promotional assets that they used to promote that album. That's really cool. Wow. So I love that, um, you know, you're, so you, you started the company with your husband. Are you co-founders or were yes. you the founder? You're co-founders. Co-founders. Yeah. We were basically, we had already kind of had a company where we were doing videography and stuff for music videos. And then we just leaned into this, bought the domain and, uh, yeah, we've been in it together from the beginning, which was, uh, 2015. Okay. So it's almost eight years now. Yeah. Almost eight years now. Yeah. Actually that 2015 is when I started this business. So oh, nice. we've been in business about the same amount of time. So I can have a, awesome. a feeling of what that feels like to be in business that long. And it, it feels like a minute and a century all at the same yeah, time. Yeah, I completely that. agree. I say that all the time that it's like, it feels shorter, but it also feels somehow longer yes. at the same time. No. Yeah, um, we we originally started uh, out of a small apartment in Toronto where it was just me and him getting on each other's nerves, just like working together all the time. We were basically working, eating and watching TV, like all in the same areas. The only room that was separate was like to sleep. So it's like everything was all in the same area. And then, uh, more recently, I think in 2020, um, we moved out of the city so that we could buy a larger house, um, that has, um, a completely separate wing kind of for, um, the office space. So behind me is part of our office space is another room as well. And we actually got to, uh, bring more people in. So we have three motion graphics artists that work with us here in house, as well as an illustrator. And then we have a couple other people, uh, who work offsite just in their own homes, um, as well. So yeah, we've grown so much since being in that tiny apartment in Toronto in 2015 and feels, feels so much better to have like a full team and like for it to feel like a little bit more real, you know? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I'm assuming even though you're in Canada, you serve people all over the world and you're able to do that because of the power of the internet. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Most of our clients are US based, but we also work a lot out of um, the Netherlands. There's actually a big um, like EDM label there in the Netherlands that was one of our first big clients. Um, so yeah, a lot of UK artists, Netherlands, yeah, mostly, mostly US and then obviously some, a lot in Canada as well. Have you found that any particular genres, since you mentioned EDM, it got me thinking about this. Are there any particular genres that either, you know, love to do lyric videos, you know, make it a standard part of their release or are just like best fit for lyric videos. 
For sure. Obviously, uh, hip hop, rap, trap music uh, lends very well to a lyric video because they're very lyrical. Yeah. Sometimes they're rapping so fast that There's you like can't so even know what they're lyrics, saying. So many lyrics, I know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, definitely that. But also I find country music. We've been doing a lot of country music lately. We recently uh, uh, had a video with Tim McGraw, who's a big country guy. So that was very exciting. Yeah, I find that a lot of country people as well. Just, I think it's just that pe people want to showcase their lyrics in an additional way other than, you know, people just Googling them and reading them on Google, you know. Um, yeah, I would imagine, you know, singer songwriter style people that just are very, very meticulous about their lyrics and very attached to them, you know, because yes, they wrote them. exactly. Totally. Yeah, that makes sense to me. So I wanted to ask you, you know, also being a female founder, how, how have you found the the industry as you came into the music industry kind of from not being in the music industry? How, how did you find that when you first came in in 2015? Did you feel like it was really an environment where there was a lot of female founders and and that, you know, you you felt very at home there? Or do you feel like that's maybe improved over the last seven years, eight years? I definitely think it's improved. We work with a lot of uh, project managers and artist managers who are uh, women, which is awesome. Um, yeah, when I remember when I was younger, when I went to makeup school, I heard nothing wrong with being a makeup artist. I just want to preface saying that. And I had a lot of many great years uh, being a makeup artist. But what I will say was the reason I chose that career when I was younger was because I kind of felt like uh, directing and like creative directing and stuff was like a man's job. Like I just, I didn't see any women in, in that industry. So I just thought, oh, I guess, I guess I'll be a makeup artist or, you know, a hairstylist or whatever, which is so unfortunate um, but this was a long time ago. This is when I was 18, you know, going on like, oh my gosh, my math is terrible. I'm 35. So <laughs> however long ago that was, it was a while ago. Um, and I do really think that things have improved, but I would still love to see uh, way more like women creative directors and women music video directors, lyric video directors out there. Um, and I think that, you know, showing that this is a job that, you know, women can do is... Uh, is an awesome thing. Yeah. But uh, I definitely think it has, it has, it has improved a lot in the past few years for sure. That's great. Have you seen any increase in artists that come to you being more women than men? Cause obviously that's kind of my thing is like, I want to see more rep representation of female artists in the industry. And I think that, like you just said, I think that's needed to change for multiple reasons. One is just because there hasn't been as many opportunities, but number two, because people haven't seen the representation there. So they yeah. thought, oh, I couldn't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's all about having role models to show yeah. you that this is like a path that you can take. Um, yeah, I definitely think, you know, it, it, we're still working on it. It's definitely still skews male sometimes depends on the genre of music as well. But, um, but definitely we're seeing like lots of, we work with lots of female artists. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I'm, I'm always looking for signs that like what I've been doing for the past eight years is actually helping. And I do think it is like, I really yeah. do believe that it is, oh, but, for sure. um, but you know, we, we want that representation in there and definitely. And, and sometimes it comes down to like, you know, who can afford to invest in it and, you know, invest in lyric mm -hmm. videos and things like that. And, you know, whether the label would get behind a, a, a male or a female artist, you know, there's all those variables. Yeah. Right. That we can't see. Yeah, totally. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to let artists know the artists that are listening or watching? Um, you know, most of them have their own music. They've thought about lyric videos. A lot of them have come to me and were like, how can I make a lyric video or like, who can I go to because I don't have time or I don't know how, <laughs> you know, uh, what would you what would you say to them about why it would be worthwhile for them to contact you? Yeah, for sure. Well, first of all, we're very friendly and we're very responsive. So even if you're not sure yet, you know, you just want to ask some questions and stuff, we're there for you. We'll we'll send you some emails. We'll send you some options. We'll send you some examples. We'll listen to your song and maybe see some examples of like lyric videos that we've done in kind of a similar genre and a similar, you know, budget range and all that and what we can do for you. Um, other reasons are just that it, it really is just like that additional thing to share with your fans. And I do find that the fan feedback for lyric videos is really great. Like they're always like, oh, this is so cool. Like that's usually kind of the feedback is just like, oh, this was a really cool piece of content because it's, it's just so different than 
just, you know, displaying your, your single artwork and saying, you know, go to Spotify and, you know, to stream it on Spotify. And it's like, that's of course great and necessary as well, but it's just that additional fun thing for your fans to kind of engage with, you know, your song is obviously the audio experience and to give it kind of a full, like audio visual experience is just going to, you know, hit another one of those senses. So yeah, so I definitely, uh, consider it and, uh, feel free to contact us with any questions. Yeah, I have found that they are lyric videos are a little more shareable. You know what I mean? Like your fans yeah. might be like, oh, this is cool. Let me send it to a friend versus them sending a link to Spotify or something. Totally. And a lot of people too, um, when they post it to their social media, they sometimes will just post like a snippet of it. So the full lyric video will exist maybe on YouTube, but on their social media, it'll just be like the bridge of the song or maybe just the beginning of the hook or something. Mm -hmm. And it's a really great way to kind of tease tease the full experience of the song, you know? Yeah, definitely get them to go over to YouTube. And since YouTube is like a universal platform, there's no gating or anything, you know, yeah. I mean, Spotify kind of is, but like people, you know, if you don't pay for it, you have ads and stuff like that. And I guess yeah. YouTube has ads too, but you know, I always love sending yeah, everything people to YouTube ads. because it's just, <laughs> YouTube is just kind of that universal thing that I also find even like older people, you know, like my mom, she's on YouTube all the time. Yes. <laughs> so, yes, you know, for sure. And it just kind of like lives there forever on your channel, yeah. you know, whereas your, your social media, you know, it'll kind of pass people by, but it's, it's nice to have it living there forever on YouTube. Yeah, for sure. So are you guys on, you guys on socials with lyric vids is can we are find you on there? Yeah. So I think most of the time it will be lyricvids.com spelled out. So it's, uh, Lyric vids and then D O T C O M. So it's almost oh. like the dot com is like Love part it. of the handle. Yeah. Got um, it. Yeah. So look us up, engage with us. We're always responsive and ready to hear, you know, what kind of projects artists have going on. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much. And I think you've inspired a lot of artists who are watching and listening to do some lyric videos. The, the, Sounds exciting to me for sure. And like you said, I, I kind of did have a little bit of a bias about lyric videos that of the old style. And I need to go watch some of yours to change my my yes, automatic yes. thoughts. Let, about let, them. Let's convert you. Let's yes. bring you on board to the <laughs> lyric video team. Absolutely. Well, thank awesome. you so much, Jess. This has been a great yes, conversation. Thank you. It's been awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks for listening to the Profitable Musician Show. I would love to know your takeaways and aha moments from this episode. Leave me a comment over at ProfitableMusician.com so I can bring you more of the information, interviews, and resources that you love. Thanks to Rondi Fay, one of my Academy members, for providing the music for our podcast. You can check her out at RondiFay.com. That's R-A-N-D-I-F-A-Y.com. Just remember, knowledge is power, but without implementation, it is useless. And inspiration without action is merely entertainment. But I know you're not just a dreamer, you are a doer. And I promise I'll be here every week to support you and remind you that you can be a profitable musician.